Hi everyone, my name is Sylvia Duckworth and I want to do a little demo on how to use Tayasui Sketches School, which is a relatively new app. Uh, it's being really strongly promoted by Apple Education as a great drawing tool, especially for younger students. It's very simple to use, not too many different features. So let's get started. When you open the app for the first time, you're going to have a folder in front of you. Uh, you can also call it a notebook and you can customize the notebook. This is where all of your drawings are gonna go. So there's a gear on the bottom right hand corner. If you tap that, there's different designs of the notebook or the folder at the top that you can choose from. The bottom, there's different colors. Scroll to the right, there's more colors there. If you tap on drawings, you can also use one of the drawings that they have in the app made for you, or you can use one of your own drawings once you've started drawing in this app. I'm going to stick with colors. I'm going to go with the hot pink. I'm going to tap on the check mark. So my folder is ready to go. If I scroll to the left, there's an option there to create another folder if you tap the plus sign. This folder here has uh, everything that you put in the trash will be found in that folder. Scrolling to the right, there's two folders or two notebooks here that the app has for you already. And if you open this one up, it shows you what all the different tools in this app look like. So that's the pencil tool, that's the pen tool, there's the felt pen, that's the paint pen, the pastel, and so on. Just keep on scrolling, you can take a look at what all the dif different tools do. So I'm just gonna close that. Scrolling to the right, this folder or this notebook has features of Sketches Pro. So if you want to buy, if you're considering buying the full version, the Sketches Pro version, take a look at that folder, it'll show you what the features are. So I'm just gonna go back to my folder or to my notebook and I'm gonna tap it to open it. Then I've got some um, canvases here. I'm not sure why there's two canvases. Normally they're just one. It's probably because I was playing with it before. But if you want to delete anything in the folder, it's just a matter of tapping on the trash can, tapping on the drawing, and then tapping trash to get rid of the drawing. But even before you open up the canvas, you can customize your paper. So I'm gonna tap on the gear, and there are different grains, different grids, and different lined paper you can choose at the bottom. There's different colors. You can also import an image, but I'm gonna to stick to the default options and just tap the check mark so I'm ready to go. The drawing tools are on the left. On the right, you've got different uh, thicknesses of drawing tool that you can play with. Um, I'm not going to go through all of these drawing tools because you can play with them on your own. I want to draw your attention to the top left hand corner. That's the undo button. There's a little arrow there. You can also just undo by swiping two fingers to the left will undo as well. But uh, let's go down. This tool here is the watercolor tool. At the very bottom right hand corner, if you tap that colored square, that'll bring up your palette. You do not have the opportunity to add any colors to your palette, so you're restricted to these colors. So I'm going to just choose a blue. I've got the watercolor pen on, so I'm going to do just a little bit of watercolor here so you see what that looks like. It's quite pretty. The next tool underneath that has this funky kind of splattering effect. And then the one underneath that you can have different fonts here. So if I tap on a font and I tap, I type out a word, then I hit the keyboard icon in the bottom right hand corner to get rid of that. I can actually drag the word around. I can make it bigger or smaller. I can angle it as well. And then at the very bottom, I'm going to tap the check mark when I'm done. There are different shapes here that you can choose as well. I just tapped on one. If I want to change the color of the shape, I'm going to tap back on the color icon in the bottom right hand corner and choose the color I want. I can make the shape bigger, smaller or bigger. I can turn it around. Tap the check mark when you're done placing it. And I'm going to get rid of that tool. Now I'm going to go to this tool which is called the paint roller tool or the roller tool. You've got different um, opacities that you can choose. This tool does a couple of different things. Number one, you can draw a shape and it will automatically fill in with the color that you have um, pulled out already. If you want to change the color, just tap the palette, 
change the color and tap on your object, which will change the color. Um, if I want to draw with a different tool, and say I want to draw a triangle, and then I can choose the color of the triangle, and I can just tap on my paint roller again, and then just tap in the triangle, and it will change to that color that I've chosen. So that's a really fast way to color in objects. The eraser tool just gets rid of everything. And the blend tool right here will blend two colors together, or more colors together. The cutter tool is really neat. The cutter tool, you can cut around an object, you can make it smaller, you can make it bigger, you can place it somewhere else, and you can twist it around so the cutter tool can come in really handy as well. And then there's the ruler tool where you can make straight lines. So once you've chosen the ruler tool, you have to choose a, a, a tool to draw with and it will draw straight lines. You can angle it any way you like. So those are some of your options with the tools. I'm going to show you a few more things now, but I need to get rid of everything on the screen. So I'm going to use the cutter tool and I'm just going to cut around and make it nice and small. Let me get rid of the ruler tool. Let me try that again. Cut around everything, make it nice and small. I'm going to take the eraser tool and erase everything because there's no layers in this app. You're a single layer for everything. The top of your screen, if, you, if I tap the question mark, let's see what that does. That gives you a bunch of tips that you can look through. We're not going to look through them now. If I tap the three dots, let's tap the gear. There's a few ways you can customize the app. The UI sounds are off. I've turned them off. I believe they default to on, which means that when you start drawing, you're going to hear different sounds. I like them off, so I'm going to keep them off. Online help really refers to Sketches Pro, so um, I tend not to look at that when I'm using this app because it's just confusing. So Jimmy, let me just tap the back button. Tapping on those three circles again, in the very center there's a symmetrical tool. So let me choose a pen. If I were to draw one side, it will automatically match on the other side, and so that's kind of fun. Let me just undo that. I'm going to tap on that tool to get rid of it. Tap back on the circles, on the dots. You've got your um, button here, which will allow you to import. You can take a picture with your camera. You can import a photo, a file, and that's your paste option. Let's just go with photo. Let me just find one of my photos that I'm going to import and trace on top of. So there's what we had for dinner tonight. I can change the transparency of the photo like this. Once I'm done, I tap the check mark. You cannot change the size of the photo, unfortunately. It's always going to be large. But I'm going to trace our dinner tonight. No, I actually want to use a black pen. So let me just find a black pen. I'm just going to go ahead and trace it as well as I can. I'm doing this very quickly. And a few noodles here. And now I'm going to go back up to the top where the three dots are. I'm going to tap the X to get rid of the photo, and now I can use my cutter tool to make it smaller just by circling it like that and pinching in and making it smaller. I can adjust it, put it wherever I want, and then I can, I can color it in if I want. So let me tap back on the circles. The last button on the very right is just a way to, for you to share your drawing. Uh, so there's different options to share your drawing. And then if I tap on that icon there, this will create a new drawing. So let me just tap on that. Uh, I can tap the plus sign on the left to create a new drawing. If I want to delete the drawing I just did, I just have to tap on, mm, nope, these windows are showing up. I'm just going to skip them. If I want to close the drawing, I squeeze the drawing to bring me back to my folder. If I want to delete the drawing, let me tap on the garbage can and then tap on the drawing and then tap on trash to get rid of that drawing that I just did. And I'm back to the beginning. So that is the basics of how you use this app. I'm just going to scroll the notebook to the left to close it again. Uh, I think your students are going to have a lot of fun with this app. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you and your students create. But 
give me an email if I've forgotten something in this app or if you have any questions, drop me a line at stuckworth100 at gmail.com. And thanks for watching. Have fun creating. Bye for now.